Hey guys, this is Range back with another video about uh, our 2K League bills, the bills that we use every day. Uh, shout out to Ascension St. Vincent and uh, let's hop right into it. So basically this is kind of the builds that we go through and we use uh, on a consistent basis. These are kind of the five players that uh, the 2K League provides for us that we can choose from before every game. Uh, and they all have different unique talents and they can be used in a game uh in their own unique ways so let's start out first with the two-way inside out score one um it's six eight so it's a taller build um weighs 180 pounds so it's it's pretty agile and it has uh extreme clamps which is good for uh you know when you're playing lockdown bump, bumping the point guard which is the person you'll be guarding kind of like almost like maintaining body contact most of the time and limitless range which is a really good badge especially when you get team take um because then you can shoot from from way beyond like you know like hash or you know even kind of uh kind of where you know clay thompson be shooting the ball and stuff like that so uh you know let's get into it uh you know this this build has uh aerial wizard gold fearless finisher silver giant slayer bronze and limitless takeoff silver but the catch about this build is really the 93 driving dunk um that's really really high and it, it could get uh you know pro contacts elite contacts um, which help you just finish at the rim a lot better than your average build. Um, this is one of the five builds that I personally haven't used yet, but it definitely can be usable for sure in the game. Um, it got, it got a couple of pros to it, like the 93 driving dunk, the 83 three ball, which is pretty high. Um, only thing is it has about three shooting badges, catch and shoot corner and green machine, uh, compared to the other builds, which are a little more uh a little more versatile when it comes to shooting badges um and then it kind of you kind of you kind of take a hit on the dribbling too like the ball handle and the speed with ball that only being at a 47 and a 35 so you know with that being said you know you also got your defensive ratings which are really really high uh your 73 interior you know 92 perimeter 95 steel 93 block um, you know, you got gold challenger, gold clamps, gold glove, gold interceptor, gold pick dodger. Like you have the necessities for the build for sure. Um, the the thing that doesn't take this build over the top is the, the playmaking though. Like, especially if you want to be a playmaker out the corner and you got to take a couple dribbles here and there, or even on the fast break. But as far as finishing at the rim and like being like a, like a, a inside out type of defender uh this build definitely has what it takes but it does have a lot of cons compared to the other builds um that i'm gonna show you in the in the pre in the next one uh so this one is a 3 and d wing one it has uh extreme clamps uh and hands jump shot contests uh so this one's a little a little bit smaller so it's uh probably a little bit faster as i expected compared to the 6a it has an 87 speed and an 84 acceleration and then this one has only an 84 driving dunk with a 34 standing dunk. Um, this one has Giant Slayer Gold and Limitless Stick of Bronze. Um, you kind of take a hit on the, uh, like I said, on the um, on the driving dunk, but you also go, uh, go up in certain areas, like I said, the whole defensive badges and like the 70 ball handle. Like you have, bl you have Blinders Bronze, Catch and Shoot Bronze, Corner Specialist Silver, Green Machine, and Guard Up which like really helps, especially in the corner when you're getting guarded by like a 6-1 guard. Um, they have guard up kind of allows you like to shoot over them, especially in this league build, which is pretty, pretty like well needed, um, especially when your team needs a bucket out the corner or, you know, you have a mismatch on you for the most part. So yeah, you know, you have the 80, 80 pass in, 80 pass accuracy, uh, which is good getting the ball up the court. Um, you know, 70 ball handle. The only thing you take a hit on too is the the standing dunk, you don't get any animations on, unfortunately, because it's only a 34 and the speed with ball. So you'll get the you'll get the animations to dribble with the 70 ball handle, but you won't be able to speed boost with it. Um, so yeah, you have the the quick first stab, the break starter, the floor general gold, which helps your teammates a lot. Um, and then and down to defense, you have half clamps, half glove, half pick dodger, gold challenger, silver menace, silver workhorse. Uh, me personally, I haven't used this build yet either, but might in the near future honestly after looking at it again this is not a bad build to be honest it's just uh the speed with ball is kind of you know a soft spot and then the the standing dunk as well which is well needed um but besides that defensively and shooting the ball this build to get it done um 87 speed really fast 84 acceleration like this build this build is kind of a menace on the court just runs around wrecking havoc like you have you have half glove which is like your ability to steal the ball and 
you know, take it from the opposing point guard or take it from anybody on the other team at, at, at a point. Um, and, you know, goal challenger, being able to get a hand up, uh, which is, you know, really nice, affecting people's shots. Um, and, you know, that's, that's about it for this build. But I would say this build is kind of, uh, compared to the first one, definitely a lot faster. And the Hall of Fame defensive badges also help. But you're also taking a hit on that driving dunk, like I said before. You don't really need a 93, but it is nice to have a high, a high driving dunk. On to the 6-6 lock. Uh, this one has extreme clamps and enhanced jump shot contests. Um, this perimeter lockdown is really, really fast and really good. Um, this is actually a speed demon. Uh, 91 speed, 89 acceleration. So this one is like literally flying across the court. Um, you're so you're so small and agile. Um, you know, e even though I said you're so small, like 6-6 is not, you know, really small, but compared to the other lock builds and kind of what other people use it's it's uh it's at the lower part of the the spectrum uh 80 driving dunk not too bad uh you know go giant slayer rise up um fearless acrobat you know you got the necessities at, at finishing uh and you gotta but this is like the real kicker like the 84 three is really really nice um silver limbless uh blinders catch and shoot corner green machine like these these are all great badges especially for shooting the ball at the corner uh, even if you want to go into a five out set, you could put this build at the hash and shoot with Silver Limitless and consistently hit like with an 84 three. And let's say if your teammates have half floor general that goes up to 88 three. Um, and then let's say they have diamond, it goes up even higher, you know? So it's like this build is definitely uh, where it's supposed to be. Like it's, I think it's rated really well. Out of 10, I'll give this build about an eight, about a seven, eight. Um, this personally, uh, I've used this probably once or twice. Um, it's it's just it, it's literally a pest. Like it's just such a pest on on defense. Um, yeah, the 79 pass accuracy, 60 ball handle, 43 speed of ball. Like I said, like the playmaking. You know, you kind of take a big hit on. Um, but then you go down to the defensive badges again. You got 99 perimeter defense and 99 steel with half glove, half clamps, and half pick dodger. So, you know, it's like you take a hit on the dry, on the standing dunk again. You take a hit on the, the ball handle and speed with ball, but you get it all back on defense with 99, 299 overall categories and three defensive Hall of Fame badges. So in reality, it's like you could take the hit and it still be OK. And then you have limitless range as well. Um, so this build is really just it's just a menace. Like it has what bronze and a scepter, um, silver menace goal challenger bronze ankle braces like it, it really it really is a, a defensive juggernaut to say the least um and like i said like i mentioned before it's really fast um the only thing it can't really do is finish at the rim well um as opposed to the first two or for i'm sorry the first uh yeah the first two um but all in all probably one of the best defensive builds in the game to be honest now this is my personal favorite to be honest kind of what everybody including myself use uh in a league every day it's the three and d wing two um the two uh takeovers are extreme clamps and limitless range uh these are definitely uh one of the two best takeovers for one and then the six eight just takes up so much on the court so let's get right into it um it has an 86 driving dunk 80 layup 71 close shot um the rise up on bronze uh is really good especially with the standing dunk being a 45 it's just enough for you to get the animations so you'll get the animations with rise up and then you have silver limitless with gold posterizer so this build is kind of like what people say like the dark matter lebron build of, of the 2k league it kind of does a little bit of everything um so you know it's like you have the 84 3 86 dunk you have catch and shoot bronze claymore which is really really needed um uh, claymore is really really good in this game um especially since you're shooting over small defenders for the most part corner specialist green machine and a silver guard up that's kind of like your your bread and butter with this build um is the fact that it can shoot over people and then you have the badges to do so and on top of that you can finish at the rim really strong the playmaking part also very very good compared to the other builds that we've seen 75 ball handle 75 speed with ball quick first step silver vice grip hyperdrive needle threader and all your playmaking categories are in the 70 or set or 75 so it's like this build can get the animations it could speed boost it kind of do a little bit of everything and then your defensive badges are literally set up perfectly uh uh to be honest it's 
it's like it's not the hall of fame badges which are really nice but it's all gold badges gold challenger gold clamps gold glove gold interceptor menace on bronze anchors on bronze pick dodgers on gold and workhorse on gold so for the most part you have four five six defensive badges on gold um which is really really good um the build is not too slow it's 85 80, 85 speed 82 acceleration um so the build's good overall this is probably the most balanced build that we have in a game uh, for the most part but this is definitely in the build that everyone uses and i i use it on a daily basis it just takes up so much room on the court and it makes life a lot easier on both ends and on a, onto our last build a uh, two-way inside out score two i've been using this as of recently as well uh for the most part i use the three and d wing two and the two-way inside out score um this one's six seven and it has extreme claims of limitless as well um so this one has an 82 driving dunk and a 73 standing so this one out of all of them has the highest standing dunk which uh when you're in the paint is really useful especially because dunking in in this game is kind of like a primary way of scoring like a lot of people get threes up but you know certain teams have certain um offenses that they run through and they they kind of either feed the paint or kind of three hunt in a sense but this build right here definitely um a defensive menace and also really good on offense um it has acrobat rise up fast twitch fearless uh giant slayer and limitless takeoff so defensively i mean um i'm sorry uh finishing wise you're good you're good to go with this one um and then you have your shooting badges claymore catch and shoot dead eye which is this, i think this is the only build that has dead eye on silver and uh green machine so for the most part shooting and, and finishing on this build pretty solid um and then you have bailout uh and then quick first step uh you so you have a 75 pass accuracy with a 77 ball handle and a 48 speed with ball so like i said before you can only get the animations uh for your playmaking but you can't speed boost um which is like a quick first step almost even though it does have quick first step it's kind of like a, a boost within the game um so yeah you have you have a vice grip needle threader bailout quick first step. that's your playmaking badges and then defensively it's it, i like this build a lot just because of the the half badges again um half clamps half glove half pick dodger a 99 steel um silver challenger which is um which is all right um you know it's not compared to the six eight it's gold but this one you can kind of get away with but you kind of have to um be a little bit closer to your to the point guard or the shooting guard or wherever you're guarding um just to get a uh, contest just because the six eight does take up a lot more room and the six seven is kind of like you have to be quicker on your feet um this has gold ankle braces bronze anchor and silver workhorse so the, for the most part the defensive badges on this are really really good um this is like i said this might be up there with the six six defensively um just because of like the ratings and the badges and kind of like the defensive presence it brings um it's also fast as well 87 speed 80 excel so for the most part like these two like the last two builds that i showed you are kind of like what people use in a league on a day-to-day -day basis uh but a lot of people uh kind of shrug towards the the 6-8 just because it's kind of like the you can say the meta or the build that you know everyone has fun on or wants to use and can do a little bit of everything um so yeah that's really that's about it um thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next time